Every region is unique in its benefits and risks. There is an unusual section of California's coastline that faces south. The front face of the mountains heat in the sun, the ocean evaporation moderates the local climate. This particular relationship of ocean and air, earth and plants, creates remarkable beauty and extreme danger. Fire came from the north, uh, it was wind driven, uh, burned across the chaparral hillsides behind uh, where this uh, structure is. So I suspect there was embers falling, igniting spot fires all around, ignited something in the house and caused the home to burn down. That is how chaparral burns. Once it goes, it, it, the fire burns off all of the vegetation. It's part of its natural ecology. It is truly amazing that this, this home uh, survived standalone. No fire engine companies here, the entire parcel burned over behind the home. Now we can see the burnt hillside. This was chaparral covered slope, extremely steep. The entire slope burned off. But, but down low, we have this row of live oak trees, which are pretty resistant to fire. And the homeowner had, again, cleared a lot of the undergrowth, lifted up some of the limbs of the trees, raked a lot of the leaves out of the way. So the trees got singed in some areas, but um, effectively the canopy undamaged, trees still green, still healthy. And these very, very green hydrated trees probably contributed to providing some shelter to the home from the ember wash. The element of fire is present in the natural system. Many species in the native plant community have adapted with fire over millennia through ongoing cycles of burning and return and are highly flammable. The presence of humans within the landscape has included both starting and stopping fires, influencing ecological processes along the way. This is a place where fire burns downhill, driven by sundowner winds, often straight into communities. So the evening of the, the Pain and Cave fire, um, I was 18 years old and home by myself and received a phone call that there was a horrible fire that was making its way towards my neighborhood. I locked the front door and I, and I tried to get out. But as I was leaving, homes were catching on fire and the flames were getting worse and the smoke was so bad you couldn't see 10 feet in front of you. It was gridlock traffic. People, neighbors had gotten out of their cars and abandoned them and just gotten into other neighbors' cars. And I thought, really thought that I was gonna die. And my little Toyota Celica and I took off and drove through front yards. We learned of our house being gone the next morning, Good Morning America. I think it's really important that people understand how this is a wildfire prone area. As the size and impact of wildfires have increased in the 21st century, it is necessary to expand beyond the traditional view of fuel reduction as the primary wildfire mitigation strategy. A new collaborative vision is required, operating at the scale of the landscape we live in. The Regional Wildfire Mitigation Program, or RWMP, has formed to build broad resilience for coexisting with fire. Multiple organizations have joined together using a holistic approach to coordinate the community, landscape, and built environment. So one of the explicit goals of the RWMP has been to leapfrog past some of the old debates and dogfights, um, say agency folks focusing on hazard reduction and fuel treatments, and in opposition, environmental groups pointing out the environmental degradation related to those and arguing that those same resources should really be focused on home hardening, starting from the community and working outwards. So the RWMP is designed to be addressing all those problems together at the scale and scope 
of our complex wildfire problems. The RWMP is following a model of community resilience where we're going out, we're listening to stakeholders, um, and then trying to meet them where they are. And we've developed this model sort of to run parallel to the fire agency model of command and control where they can go out with resources and infrastructure, fight a fire, address an incident where they're needed most, and we can fill in the gaps in between, help people stay organized and get the resources they need to, to achieve the solutions they're looking for. The RWMP is structured around three domains, the built environment, the community and the landscape. So the built environment would involve not just structures, which is what most people think of, but also road networks, water supplies, the power line infrastructure, mitigating those risks. The community domain involves the people, training and educating homeowners what to do to their home and around their home to make it safer. The landscape domain deals with the wildland urban interface broadly, how to buffer that and protect it. The built environment includes our homes along with the essential infrastructure such as roads, power lines, and water supplies that we rely on every day, particularly when there is an emergency. Small details often make a big difference in the risk level of a structure, and the RWMP is developing new methods for engaging with residents so they can better understand what to do to their home to be as safe as possible. The Built Domain team will also provide policy recommendations for shared infrastructure in areas that provide the highest community benefit. The Santa Barbara County Fire Safe Council partnered with the RWMP in order to work with residents making up the community domain that are exposed to fire risk. Wildfires are getting bigger and move more easily into populated areas. In order to become part of the solution, communities are choosing to organize and work together. Based on public interest, Fire Safe Council staff have begun visiting homes to assess vegetation and home vulnerabilities to recommend available changes. Working together with neighbors has a multiplying effect for individual homes and on the community scale. Not all communities have historically been included in wildfire preparedness discussions. A key to region-wide resilience is to hear from all groups about their specific concerns. Focus groups in partnership with community liaisons are directly informing the RWMP's template and broadening its base of participants. The Fire Safe Council has introduced FireWise USA, a free and voluntary program, to communities to help them organize and work with local agencies like fire departments in the shared goals of resilience. The probability of you know your place catching a fire if you have defensible space, if your property is protected, it, it, it will come down. The customized program helps communities build strong networks so they can increase their specific capacities to prepare, respond, and recover from wildfires. Often, the most destructive wildfires start in what's known as the wildland urban interface. The landscape domain focuses on threats to these large-scale areas with the goal of conserving and expanding green belts of vegetation that protect Santa Barbara communities from wildfire. The landscape domain is carrying out projects across Santa Barbara such as oak conservation, native grass and shrub restoration, and orchard renovations for water efficiency. The moisture content in vegetation can be measured to actually quantify its ability to buffer against fire. Now we will go to the other side of block two and there will be three more avocado sites. On block two, yep. The RWMP has started to sample orchards and native oaks to better understand their potential role as buffers. It's probably old enough to have seen something. So here we're, we're just trying to sample as much of this as we can. Yeah. All right. But I mean, it's, it's hard because it's just such a large tree. Mm -hmm. The orchard has been here for such a long time that yeah. this is pretty protected from any yeah. type of Most surface of fire. Yeah. 
In reality, the three domains are not as separate as we sometimes talk about them or think about them. It's going to be homeowners that are not only retrofitting their structures, but they're also creating defensible space around their homes and their communities. Engaged communities are going to be the ones implementing and propelling these landscape scale buffers. So all of these risks that we're trying to mitigate together are connected. There are links to and among and across trade-offs uh, with the domains. And it's this synthetic, holistic, broad scope of the RWMP that's going to force us all to work together and to make it effective. For more information about the Regional Wildfire Mitigation Program, visit rwmpsantabarbara.org.